Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another Data Access Objects video tutorial. In today's episode, we continue building our DAO implementation by creating a Retrieve All Records method. Before we get started on our retrieve all method, I'd like to mention that in the last video, I forgot to mention that at the end of our method, we're supposed to close the result set, the prepared statement, and the connection. So I've added that, and this code is available on GitHub, and there'll be a link to that in the description below. I've also made a couple of changes to our database class, the get instance method I've changed to get connection. The method is static, but the connection is not static. So you get the connection, you can close the connection. I've also added three methods to close a statement object, to close a prepared statement object, and to close a result set object. So let's move on to continue coding our CRUD operations. It's back to the employee DAO implementation class and to the retrieve all or get all method. First, we're going to get a database connection. Database.getConnection. Next, we're going to set up some SQL code that we're going to execute. String SQL equals select ID, employee ID, first name, last name, and department ID from table employees. Next I'm going to create uh, an array list that's going to hold all of our employee records that we get from the database. We're going to code that to the list interface list and the type is employee employees equals new array list organize our imports with control shift o next we'll create a statement object statement statement equals con.create statement then we will execute our query and that returns a result set result set rs equals statement.execute query passing along our SQL code to select all records from the database in this table. After we execute the query, we have to process the result set. While rs.next, we're going to create an employee object for each record in the result set. We'll start with the int id equals rs.next get int ID, int employee ID equals rs.getInt employee ID string first name equals rs.getString first name string last name equals rs.getString last name and finally int department id equals rs.getInt department ID. Yeah. 
Now we'll create a new employee object with these values that we've gotten from the database. Employee, employee equals new employee ID, employee ID. First name, last name, department ID, take out the underscore, and then we'll add it to our list. Employees.add employee. Once we're done processing all of the records in the result set, then we'll return employees to the caller. These blank lines and the null that we'd originally coded. Now let's test that method. Let's open up our main class. Once again, we'll remark or remove. Let's just remove these. List employee. Employees. Let's create an employee DAO. Organize our imports. Execute the method. Employees equals employee DAO. Dot get all. And then we'll cycle through the employees. For each employee in employees, sys out employee. We get rid of this import. Run as Java application. And there are our two records, Sam Spade and Rick Blaine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out again today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.